You know, people always tell me that I have the best job in the world. That's because I get to travel all around the Tampa Bay area to meet the coolest people and check out the hottest places while living it up and never settling on anything less than the best in life. Yeah, the good life. So get ready to join me on another journey around the Bay Area to learn where you can experience VIP treatment all right here on Good Life Tampa Bay. Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of Good Life Tampa Bay. The show that brings you the people, places and events that make great things happen here in the Bay Area. I'm your host H. John Mejia and in our first segment we check out Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay charity as she promotes suicide awareness and prevention. Here's Rebecca Wood with the story. With more than a million people in the U.S. attempting suicide every single year, something needs to be done to help those in their darkest moment. Well, today, something is being done. Something big. After days of rain, this group of dedicated volunteers for the Hands Across the Bay Walk for Hope and Help promised to be out here at Fort DeSoto Beach come rain or shine. But when they arrived to sunshine, they knew they were in for something special. Everyone asked me if I was nervous about the weather, and I said, we're going to have whatever kind of day God wants us to have. It rained all last night, and I said, you know what? I think tomorrow morning, up until the time we're done with our event, it's going to be beautiful. And here we are. I really didn't expect the sunshine, though, but as long as it didn't rain and really, uh, really hamper things, God has a hand. The sunshine was symbolic, the hope being raised today to stop the sad, rising statistics surrounding suicide. We're putting together some resources. We go to schools and talk to kids and do things like that. And um, we don't have any materials really that address these kind of issues. We don't want to reinvent the wheel. We've got the Crisis Center and the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and all these. So we want to team up with them, but have our own materials that we can actually take out with us and give to these people and say, look, these are the resources that you can contact if you find yourself in this position. So that's what we're trying to raise money to do today, to be able to spread the word in a better way. Well, what we plan on doing is making a wellness program that we hope to implement throughout the school system as well as workplaces everywhere just so that people are aware of the symptoms of suicidal thoughts and get them help. There's just so much that needs to be done and we're trying to incorporate not only uh, suicide but bullying and um, self-esteem issues, all of these things that contribute to suicide. This whole thing is to bridge the bay and so we're working with the Tampa Bay Crisis Center, we're working with the Kids Place over at Van Dyke United Methodist Church, and we're working with Suncoast Mental Health, all of the agencies that work in suicide awareness and prevention. A large majority of people who take their life never reach out for help first, mostly because suicide or thoughts of suicide aren't easy topics to discuss. That's why I come out to events like this, to let people know that, hey, it's out there. It doesn't just affect the old druggies. It doesn't affect people who are just purposely down in their lives. Kids go through this every day. I'm sure there isn't a teenager in the world who hasn't at some point thought about killing themselves because they get so overwhelmed with life and so depressed. And that's why it's important for me to get be out here. I think it'll raise awareness and maybe um, there can be a reaching out of talking about a problem before that drastic step is taken. Following great singing performances from Lisa Casalino, Casey Battaglia, and former American Idol singer Jay Rosenberg, Julie Weintraub, during the presentation ceremony, was able to recognize the overwhelming support and contributions from many in the community, including the Tampa Chief of Police and also Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri. When you see all those hands go up, it makes you sit there and really realize the important things that are going on in our community and how an event like this can make a huge difference. There were many emotional speeches that came from people who lost loved ones to suicide, including a mom who lost her son when he killed himself just a few hours after being bullied. From the groups of walkers to the sponsors who helped make the event a possibility, like Lakata Medical Artistry, Bacchus Event Solutions, the Tampa Bay Rays, and Caraba's Italian Grill, they're showing those who feel so alone, they are anything but. We at Lakata are all part of this community. I was born and raised in Tampa. 
Um, so is Dana, one of the owners. Um, and it's just so important to come and support our community and charitable events such as the ones that Julie Ryan Weintraub represents. We at Lakata are all human and we all know what it's like to have challenges and we want to be able to support and help in any way we can. Salvation Army uh, feeds tens of thousands of homeless people in the Bay Area and there's also a shelter for, for women and children that a lot of women have been abused and uh, our fear of their lives and we shelter them and, and help them with things and get them on their feet. Today's mainly for, uh, for suicide prevention and to draw attention to the issue and uh, to, to provide hope for people so they can get some counseling and, and realize that there's a lot of good that can be accomplished in their lives. And then there were those brave enough to share their own stories, hoping their tales of tragedy can stop it from happening again. My brother Don was 53 when he passed. Uh, he had suffered from depression his entire life. Um, I tried many times to get him counseling, but he he would not go to counseling, and um, he ended up just finally taking his life. It was just too much for him, and he was a good, good person, and that's what I hear repeatedly. That all of these people who decide to do this, they're wonderful, wonderful people and very sensitive. So we can help them by showing them love and that they matter in this world. This is a, uh, a charity that is near and dear to my heart. Uh, in 2004, my grandfather committed suicide. You know, this is something that's very serious and um, really needs to be, you know, as much awareness as possible raised for this. So um, that's why I'm here. Suicide is a, you know, permanent solution to a temporary problem. Life is beautiful and it's precious and it's short so don't take it uh, too seriously by the end of the event money spirits and hope were raised all of which will go back into the community and fight the rising number of suicides we want people to be more aware of, of that there's prevention in suicide people don't have to take their own lives I mean, especially young children that think that there's no way out but it's all temporary and we need to get that through to them that these feelings that they have are only temporary and they don't have to live with this the rest of their life. And uh, if we can accomplish, if we can save one life by this, then it'll be a success. I appreciate everyone that's coming out today and Good Life Tampa Bay. You guys are so wonderful and so supportive and we, I'm just very thankful. I look around and see all these volunteers and all these people and it's awesome. Very thankful today. It's pretty appropriate that after a week's worth of rain, the sun is shining bright today because this walk is a ray of light that's going to help people who are lost find their way. For Good Life Tampa Bay, I'm Rebecca Wood. You can help make a difference by going to handsacrossthebay.org. That's handsacrossthebay.org. Hi, I'm Jay Rosenberg from season four of American Idol, and I love watching Good Life Tampa Bay. I'm Christina Suarez with Lakata Tampa, and I love watching Good Life Tampa Bay. We love Good Life Tampa Bay. I'm Steve Weintraub with Golden Diamond Source and Hands Across the Bay, and we love Good life, Tampa Bay. Hey, don't go anywhere because we'll see you on the other side of this commercial break. Over 100,000 customers know the Golden Diamond Source is Tampa Bay's number one source for diamond engagement rings. Come see our 7,000 square foot showroom with something in everyone's price range. And Tampa Bay's largest selection of fancy yellow diamonds, diamond solitaires, and diamond earrings. Everything from pre-owned Rolex to our rare coin and billion division to buy and sell rare coins. Plus, award-winning jewelry designers and jewelry repair is done on site. Get top dollar for your old gold or diamonds or use it towards a new jewelry purchase. Family owned and operated for over 30 years. The Golden Diamond Source. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by the Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. Welcome back to Good Life Tampa Bay. Now in this segment, I had a chance to check out a group that's all about bringing leaders together to make a difference. Here's my story. Tonight, the Leaders Friday Luncheon hosts their third annual reception. This evening, it's all about making business contacts and establishing new relationships. Come on, let's check it out. Since 2009, when the Leaders Friday Luncheon Organization was formed, their mission was to create a forum to connect professionals from all over the Tampa Bay area to broaden business connection so the area's best and brightest can forge new relationships. It's what we envisioned when we started this group three years ago. We want our community to be vibrant, young, energetic. To make Tampa grow. That's the only way that we'll succeed in doing that is if we all work together and you know strive for the same mission to see what this community really can do when we pull together. There's so many people who came out to support you know Leaders Friday Luncheon and we're just happy to have everyone together, you know, mingling, mixing, and having a good time. When good people come together, uh, leaders come together, it's just 
you know, amazing what collaboration can come. I don't know that we ever envisioned uh, this scale um, and this sort of profile for the group. We're very excited about it. Uh, we just wanted to get together, have lunch with some people, re-energize ourselves through the motivation and excitement and vision of others and to connect and become a deeper part of this community. We're bringing in professionals from the area, we're connecting people with you know some of their former colleagues and friends and acquaintances and forging new relationships so it's great to have that all in one place. I have a 16 year old brother and he's going to go away to college. When he graduates from college we want him to come here and work and find a job and find a space in this community. But if there's no, no opportunity for him, then he's gonna leave the city and then we're gonna have no next generation of leadership. And that's what this group, the Leaders Friday Luncheon, was created to hone in and continue the dialogue. Appropriately, the brand new and state-of-the-art USF Center for Advanced Medical Learning and Simulation was the spectacular venue for tonight's event. This is the beginning of the revolution in healthcare right here in Tampa Bay. We, there is no place in the country that's doing it better than us. Camels is a combination of technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship. And tonight we have 150 young professionals and community leaders that are talking for the very first time. We're going to be the next cool place. We're going to be the place that people want to come to. And we're going to build our careers, our homes, and our families in Tampa Bay, not because of the weather, not because of the tax system, but because it's cool. And when you think about it, that's how places like Seattle and Silicon Valley started. This reception was supported by top Bay Area companies who were sponsors. I couldn't believe more in what, what this group is about. And it's a, it's a way for our firm to give back to the community and encourage all of these people to give back as well. We support Tampa. I'm a young professional. I want the business to grow, Timpano to grow, just as much as my future and community. Each time, it's the third time, it's get bigger and bigger. The clientele is better and better, better people. Um, we're just very excited. For us at the Tampa Bay Times, this is just natural. We are a Tampa Bay-based business. Our success depends on the success of this marketplace. So to be involved here, it's what we're all about. We hope that by meeting other uh, Tampa Bay leaders, not, not only some that have just started out on the career, but those that are continuing with their career, probably a very successful career that they've had in Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, This is the right place to be. Even Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn has taken notice of the Leaders Friday Luncheon team by attending one of the group's luncheons earlier this year. And at tonight's event, the mayor went out of his way by delivering a special pre-tape message to this evening's attendees. At some point, I'm going to have to pass this torch to a new generation and to know that uh, these young professionals are involved in our community it really makes me feel good and makes knowing what I do every day um, even that much more important. Yes, it was an evening that brought together so many talented people who enjoyed the opportunity to network and connect and take their business to the next level. It's just a sign of how important relationship building is and, and building trust with the people that you do business with. And you know, out of this room and event, there you know deals will be done and and relations that will drive you know growth not only from a sort of bottom line point of view, but but knowledge base in terms of helping each other and that kind of thing. Well, it's really about passing the torch, I think. And so when it comes down to a lot of these uh, business leaders have a lot to share, a lot to pass on. And as uh, young upcoming business leaders, we want to be able to engage and be able to uh, absorb a lot of that information and pass that on as we can. This is young blood. And it's so important that we keep young leaders, young business Adventurists for the future to keep them in the community and to be a part of the community and that's why it's so great when you have some of the older community leaders who are here and are blending in with the younger the, the really the leaders of tomorrow you get a chance to see in action some of the talent that's right here in our Tampa Bay community we always talk about the importance of developing talent and I think what you see with Shillin and Akash and their partners it's really impressive and exciting and hopefully it's something that can be contagious. When I see the younger generation getting excited and involved on how to take Tampa Bay to the next level, it's a very uh, fulfilling for us that somebody else is now ready and stepping up to the plate. The Leaders Friday Luncheon is all about making a difference here in the Tampa Bay area. My name is Akash Patel. Thank you for attending tonight's third annual Leaders Friday Luncheon. Thank you to our sponsors and to attendees. Let's go out and make Tampa Bay 
the best community in the nation. I'd like to thank everyone for coming to our event tonight, the third annual Leaders Friday luncheon reception. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed themselves and we look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you so much for tonight's event for supporting Leaders Friday luncheon. Thank you so much for supporting Leaders Friday luncheon and for supporting the Tampa Bay community. Wow, what an absolutely incredible evening. And from the look of this event, the future of Tampa Bay is in good hands. For Good Live Tampa Bay here in downtown Tampa, I'm H. John Mejia. So be sure to check out this exciting organization by going to their website at leadersfl.com. That's leadersfl.com. My name is Akash Patel, and I enjoy watching H. John Mejia on the Good Life Tampa Bay. Hey, don't go anywhere, because we'll see you on the other side of this commercial break. Over 100,000 customers know the Golden Diamond Source is Tampa Bay's number one source for diamond engagement rings. Come see our 7,000 square foot showroom with something in everyone's price range. And Tampa Bay's largest selection of fancy yellow diamonds, diamond solitaires, and diamond earrings. Everything from pre-owned Rolex to our rare coin and bullion division to buy and sell rare coins. Plus award-winning jewelry designers and jewelry repair is done on site. Get top dollar for your old gold or diamonds or use it towards a new jewelry purchase. Family owned and operated for over 30 years. The Golden Diamond Source. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by the Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. Hi, welcome back to Good Life Tampa Bay. In this segment, we check in with Colette Meyer and her story on a charity event called the Purple Gala. Get ready, because tonight we're in Ybor City at the Ritz Theater for the second annual Purple Gala. It's happening under the big top right here, right now. The Summer at the Circus was the theme for the spring's second annual Purple Gala, turning the Ritz Theater into a fundraising big top, complete with magic, daring acts, and even carnival games. This is my first time to be at a circus-themed formal event, and I think that people are elbow to elbow right now, and um, we're, it, it's going to be a great night. It's very exciting. I thought a lady was about to end up on my lap. <laughs> It's, it's very interesting. I've never seen anything like this before. All of this was an effort to raise funds and awareness for domestic violence prevention in Hillsborough County. You know, it's amazingly important. The folks who are in this room tonight are some of our major donors and sponsors, and without them, uh, we couldn't fund the programs uh, that help the women and the children of our community uh, and restore peace to their, their, their lives. The work of the spring is so important. Um, women and children, we save lives every day. That's the mission of the spring. And it's so important to raise awareness and, of course, raise money and raise friends. Um, and that's, that's what we're doing here tonight. Domestic violence is the, is the type of social ill that people don't want to talk about. And it's very important for people to be aware that services such as our shelter are out there so that they can get help. This is the kind of thing that we can fix, the kind of thing that we can remedy. Some of these families uh, had the unfortunate circumstances that they're in, and the spring is able to help them uh, kind of pick up the pieces of their lives to help them get back on track. That there's, uh, there's really nothing else I can think is uh, better to help out with in uh, the Tampa Bay area. Oh, it's extremely important, and it's extremely important for everyone who's here and our supporters. 35 years is how old this spring is, and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the community. The master of ceremonies for the event was none other than Julie Weintraub, who really knows how to make an entrance. There's things I don't know, but I heard that my wife is going to magically appear on stage. I thought they were going to make her disappear, but thank God she's going to appear and not disappear. So we have an illusionist that's going to make that happen up there in a few minutes, so we can't wait. Awesome tonight. They have like a whole circus theme going, and you saw what they did earlier, maybe pop out of a frame, and got uh, silk rope entertainment. So it's such a great, different event. I really love what they put together here tonight. Oh my goodness, I could not believe. Julie's appearance this evening with the help of Devlin, our illusionist, was amazing. The crowd was inspired and awed, and as always, she was stunning and beautiful. This cause is something very close to Julie's heart. Her own charity, Hands Across the Bay, has a history of helping women in need. One such case is Aubrey Mabry, who is on hand to help raise awareness. Um, it's important to me because domestic violence is something that happened directly to myself and to my family. So it's a great uh, opportunity to come to something like this and experience it. I've never been to an event for the spring. This is my first, and this is an absolutely amazing event. It's very important. We see more and more every day how important it is to have places like this to support women who are in domestic violence situations. But, um, you know, every day at Hands Across the Bay, we see women that get into these situations that don't have a way out. So we've got to support places like the spring so these women have another choice. 
So I'm happy to be here. I'm glad to support anything that they're doing at the spring. We hear so many people and we've Hands Across the Bay has helped so many domestic violence victims and there's so many signs before the tragedy really happens. And I think uh, people like the spring are here to help and also make people more aware and see the signs before it gets really, really bad. Those that came out to support this cause also included State Attorney Mark Ober and some of the prosecutors that witnessed firsthand the results of these horrific crimes. It's very important for all of us to be involved in this issue because uh, what we talk about uh, at the spring is to save lives. I'm happy to be here. I'm delighted to be here. It's a, a, a great cause. We see sides of it that the public doesn't always see. And being here to celebrate something, it's a very happy event, but I think it's important to remember what we're all here for. One of the highlights of this evening was the photo booth, where even I got to let down my hair and goof off a little and try on some of the crazy costumes. I wasn't alone, though. One of the event sponsors also enjoyed getting a unique souvenir. I love the theme. I think it's a lot of fun. The photo booth is the most amazing idea. That was hysterical, um, and I can't wait to see what's through the doors. It's just an important cause, something we believe in. Just, we wanted to be here to be able to support it. We donate a lot to the spring um, through Mosh Posh, so it was an important cause. Overall, it was a great night with those coming out all eager to lend their support and hopefully get closer to bringing an end to domestic violence. Sometimes women try to make excuses, I think, for the behavior of, of their partners, and it can go for men as well, so it's nice to come here together and talk openly about how you know, how to treat one another and what the signs are before abuse so that we can hopefully save some lives and make a difference. What an incredible night. The circus theme captivated the crowd all for a good cause. From Ebor City, for Good Life Tampa Bay, I'm Colette Meyer. For more information, be sure to check out thespring.org. That's thespring.org. Thank you and thank you, Good Life Tampa Bay. I'm Jamie Broom, Director of Development for the Spring of Tampa Bay, and I love watching Good Life Tampa Bay. Hey, don't go anywhere because we'll see you on the other side of this commercial break. Over 100,000 customers know the Golden Diamond Source is Tampa Bay's number one source for diamond engagement rings. Come see our 7,000 square foot showroom with something in everyone's price range. And Tampa Bay's largest selection of fancy yellow diamonds, diamond solitaires, and diamond earrings. Everything from pre-owned Rolex to our rare coin and bullion division to buy and sell rare coins. Plus award winning jewelry designers and jewelry repair is done on site. Get top dollar for your old gold or diamonds or use it towards a new jewelry purchase. Family owned and operated for over 30 years. The Golden Diamond Source. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by the Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. Hey, welcome back to Good Life Tampa Bay. Now in our final segment, we had a chance to check out one of the best schools in the Bay Area. Once again, here's Rebecca Wood with the story. When we heard that Carol Wood Day School High School has grown by 150% over the last five years, we had to find out what they're doing that's drawing in so many new students. The moment you walk onto Carol Wood Day School's campus, you know you're someplace special. A place where kids don't go to just learn, they go to grow. One of our strengths is that we really look at the whole child and we want them not only to succeed academically because that's obviously why we're here, but also socially and physically, and we want them to learn everything culturally that they can. So we look at all their needs. To me, it's not just the academic education, but it's growing that whole child and getting our kids to experience all these you know, great life-expanding experiences. When it started back in 1981, Carrollwood Day School focused on early childhood development but knew they had what it took to take children from pre-K all the way through 12th grade and prepare them for the world. During those 31 years, CDS did just that and now has an annual enrollment that tops 800 students. They also boast the title of being the only school in Florida to be IB certified for students pre-K through high school, meaning the curriculum for CDS follows the guidelines established by the prestigious International Baccalaureate Program. We use all the best practices from around the world. This program gives you accessibility to all of that and, and great ways to do assessment, to prepare lesson plans, um, everything you would expect from a, a top rate education. The freedom that teachers have here to teach the way that the kids are receiving it is a really good bonus because in public school you have to go by what you know, Gates Foundation is, or you have to teach to the FCAT. 
Here, you're teaching to the way your kids want to learn. A program that demands class sizes stay small, which isn't taken for granted in this day and age, where some public schools are busting at the seams. Well, it makes a great deal of difference because you can individualize more. I would expect every student in a class this size to clearly participate uh, during the course of uh, an hour class. And so you get to see that where sometimes in larger classes, they're almost trying to vie for being involved here. There's a sense that they have the opportunity. But it's not just the education that has given CDS High School a 400% hike in enrollment since they started. It's also the amazing group of teachers that school organizers have assembled. Each of them, not only talented in their field of expertise, but committed to educating, committed to each child. There is a passion and commitment that goes above and beyond. So, you know, when I, when I talk to my kids, uh, asking them, you know, what do you like about the teachers? And they love the fact that they have the opportunity to get individual attention, one-on-one -on -one when they need it, whether it's before school, during school, after school. And I've seen the bond that they form last for many years. Before exams, our math teacher he had, the exams were like, it was half days, so he stayed after one day. He said he would stay until all the questions were answered. So I was like one of the last people in the room, and he stayed after for like two hours, just helping everyone, and he helped everyone with everything. And I mean, I got an A on my math exam. <laughs> CDS, world-class educational um, school. But for me, I would say if you're looking for your child to be well-rounded and truly prepared for not just college, but life beyond college, and being a good person, and really doing what's right, Carrollwood Day School is the place to be. So it's not just a great curriculum and a beautiful campus that's helping Carrollwood succeed. It's the things that money can't buy, like a sense of family, passion, and heart that really makes a difference. For Good Life Tampa Bay, I'm Rebecca Wood. For more information on CDS, go to carrollwooddayschool.org. That's carrollwooddayschool.org. Hey, that's a wrap for today's show. I just want to thank all of you at home for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed producing it for you. I want to take this special moment to thank our sponsors, Steve and Julie Weintraub from the Golden Diamond Source, and I also want to thank In The Zone TV Productions. I'm H. John Mejia, and on behalf of the entire Good Life Tampa Bay team, we look forward to seeing you on our next show. At the beginning of my intro. Three, two, one. Tonight, the, this evening, it's all about making business a con. Well, today, something is being done. Something big. When we heard that Carol would the. Get ready because tonight we're at the Ebers. At the Ebers. A sense of family, passion, heart that really sets them up. What'd you say? Again?